Once upon a time, there was a boy who was very lazy. He did not want to step off the bed. His mother would make the breakfast and make him ready for school. He would never complete his homework on time. His habits grew worse as he grew older. He would not care to work hard, but always remained slothful in his ways. He was kicked from one job after the other. Now he was jobless, and nobody gave his a good report. Thus, he remained unmarried, though being very handsome, he was helpless and in despair. So he decided to go to the Himalayas to seek peace and help from the monks. He took the road to the mountains. But the weakness and laziness of the boy stopped him. Yet he climbed. He wanted to give up his laziness and despair so desperately that he climbed the mountains easily and went to the monks. The monks were practicing meditation continuously. He got to know that some monks were practicing for twenty years without break. His mind was dumbfounded to hear the persistence and patience of the monks. The monk named Z took him into his refuge and heard his story. He asked the boy to practice meditation and listen to the nature. He will surely find an answer. He heard the advice of the monk. One day, while cleaning the hut of the monk, he saw an ant. The ant was carrying heavy loads on his back. He asked the ant, "What was it doing?" The ant answered that it was gathering food for the winter. The boy said that it is yet summer. Why do you care about the food when winter is quite far? The ant answered, "I am very small. I have to carry a lot of food for my family." For the winter is approaching. The second day, the ant came again, carrying a heavy load of food again. The boy stopped it again and asked, "Why did it work so hard?" The ant said, "For my family and our survival, I work." The boy asked again, "You are so short, yet you carry a great load on your back. Do you not get tired?" The ant said, "It is in me to work. I don't think of anything else but to work. We work for our food, and what else do every being on this earth live for?" Then I will die without food, and food is gathered by labor. I don't get tired when I work because I have my family, my colony to feed. In my mind, the ant was persistent and patient. The boy was stunned. Next day, he again saw the ant. The ant became his friend. The boy purposely dropped food for him. The ant took food every day without wavering, excuses, and slothfulness. The boy learned the secret to work hard from the ant. The boy told the monk all the things and said that nature taught me to work hard. The boy was content and looked radiant. He went back home and got a job and worked diligently and persistently. He became a successful man and he was respected by all and married to a beautiful girl. And his slothful nature was gone. He used to tell his children the story of an ant, which changed his life. One day he was reading about the ants in a book. The book says the ant does not have an overseer. A ruler or a master, yet it works hard. Moral: Be not afraid to labor, lest poverty shall fall upon you.